Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning Horst Lüning and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. We're in America today and we taste the most often sold American whiskey, Jack Daniels Old Number 7. The Old Number 7, I think, is the eighth often sold whiskey in the world and it's only beaten by Johnny Walker from Scotland and several Indish whiskies, which are hmm, close to not being whiskies. I talked about uh, international whiskies already in this video. And uh, the Jack Daniels is no bourbon. It's a Tennessee whiskey. And I think it was Henry Ford who said, if you can't be the first in your marketing segment, then open a new segment. And in this segment, you will be the number one. And so Jack Daniels opened a new marketing segment of the Tennessee whiskies, in contrast to the Kentucky straight bourbons. And in this Tennessee whiskey, well, there are only two distilleries there. In the moment, I think there are three distilleries in Tennessee. Uh, and the second one is George Dickel, which is owned by the biggest uh, spirits distillery company in the world, Diageo. Uh, but the George Dickel distillery is still small and not very popular. So Jack Daniels did it and they did it slowly, very slowly. It's incredible how Jack Daniels was able to sell to the people by saying slow, but doing fast, really fast. This incredible amount of Tennessee whiskey you have to produce, you have to rush, hurry to produce this much whiskey, but you sell it slowly. And if you visit, have uh, visited already the Jack Daniels distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee, then you can see that those yeah, people walking around in the distillery, uh, sitting on the porch, uh, they're performing slow. I think they're paid to perform slow. <laughs> and with this special marketing campaign, they are able to sell to the young and to the old. It's incredibly good, incredibly good. Um, there is a difference between the Tennessee whiskey and the Kentucky straight bourbon. And this is charcoal filtering. There you have a, 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 a huge fire made from uh, sugar maple and uh, then you uh, uh, stop the fire with water so that this charcoal remains and this charcoal is put into huge vats three feet high, uh, three yards high, close to three meters and uh, there, the whiskey, the fresh whiskey from the stills is dribbling through the charcoal and these, yeah, the sharp aromas are filtered by the charcoal and the mellow whiskey uh, is, yeah, is found at the bottom of those vats and uh, put in the cask to mature. Um, is this really something different to the Kentucky Straight Bourbon? No. The casks in Kentucky, they are put on fire from the inside and there is a thick layer of charcoal on the inside uh, of the cask. And if you do this charcoal from oak or from sugar maple, mm, doesn't make such a big difference because the charcoal is charcoal. So it's coal with a high inner surface so there's very very few aromas in it but a lot of inner surface which is able to attract these sharp aromas and hold them back. The charcoal is then sold to the supermarkets. I've seen it in local uh, 
a do-it-yourself store uh, for grilling purposes, uh, quite expensive <laughs> for waste. <laughs> um, is this huge amount of whiskey really good? We will see in a minute and there are better Jack Daniels whiskies here in this small assortment. Uh, we will have a look at that. Uh, in a few days. Um, why is the Jack Daniels Old Number 7 called or named Old Number 7? Because it should have been the seventh receipt of Jack Daniels to produce his whiskey. And uh, in fact, marketing says if you put a number on your bottle, then you sell better. Seven does not mean seven years, no, just seven, and it sells better. So there is old number seven, and how old is it? Uh, and I visited the distillery in 1999. Um, then they told me it's 36 years old. Um, and there had been a green label on the market, which was a, uh, a young uh, Jack Daniels with less than that and only 40% ABV and the uh, green was finished several years ago, I think 2008 they produced the last one and uh, the old number 7 had 43% then it was the better one, the older one, the more mature and in the meantime they reduced the strength to 40% as well as the, the green one, but they stayed with the uh, older age. Yeah, that's it. Oh. So I have no huge or big bottle here. Uh, you find it everywhere in every uh, filling station, every supermarket all over Europe. Um, <laughs> but not in Tennessee, it's a dry county. <laughs> um, yeah. The first is a, a fruit gum aroma like those Haribo gummy bärchen and vanilla is present and then a, a slight aroma of, of solvent, of thinner, paint thinner. So it's quite one-dimensional. That's it. No oak. It's quite thin, moldy, and then from the back, oak. A light bitterness, a little almond, thin and fast gone. That's it. How should it be better than that? If you sell tens of millions, hundreds of millions bottles a year. Um, but we have to honor Jack Daniels for selling, for having the best seller of American whiskey on the worldwide market. And Jack Daniels has better whiskies. So look out for better ones. There's the Gentleman Jack and the Single Barrel, and we will have uh, a tasting very soon. Thank you for watching Whiskey.com. There's more to come of Jack Daniels. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and feel free to share this video with your friends.